Okay. So, I hope you are um, uh, comfortable with, with uh, this particular, uh, you know, uh, discussion that, that we have had. And uh, we will now move on to another Im important topic, which will be uh, helpful for us in, you know, in, a, in a very significant way. And let me uh, introduce that, that concept. Okay. This is the aspect of linear constant coefficient difference equations constant coefficient difference equations okay don't worry about the name uh, it's actually a very it's a long name a complicated name for something that is very simple okay this is called lccde let me show you why why it is uh, it is so simple we'll start with an example and then uh, you know build it up to what we want okay we are given a input output which is given in this form y of n minus 2 times y of n minus 1 is equal to 4 times x of n. Now you may say you know I have never seen anything like this right you may say you know, that, that's uh, that's a fair statement right but actually you have seen let us see what, what, what we mean by that. So you can write this as y of n is equal to 2 times y of n minus 1, I have taken it to the other side, plus 4 times x of n. Now, from this expression, uh, you know, if you, if you write down what is y of n minus 1, it will be 2 times y of n minus 2 plus 4 times x of n minus 1, okay. So, now substitute this back into this expression, what do you get? So, 2 times y of n minus 1. So, th this will be equal to 4 times y of n minus 2 plus 8 times, uh, uh, let's just write, plus 4 times x of n, that's already there, plus 8 times x of n minus 1. Okay. Now, you can write down for y of n minus 2 y of n minus 3 and so on and then keep plugging in, you will find that you will start getting a longer and longer sequence. So basically what this particular expression is, is not something that you have not seen. It is a sequence in which the output depends on a long, long sequence of inputs, right? Basically infinitely long. So this is what we call as a recursive system. This basically, you, you write the expression out, it will be x of n, x of n minus 1, x of n minus 1, go all the way to infinity. And such, such uh, systems we have seen. So basically this is a recursive system, okay? So given an input, you can compute an output. So the question that uh, we are going to, uh, going to be asking is, is this system LTI? Is this system, this recursive system, is it, is it LTI? Okay, so here is what we are going to do. We are going to say, okay, if I apply an input x1 of n, it will produce for me an output y1 of n. And the input output relationship is going to be y1 of n minus 2 times y1 of n minus 1 is equal to 4 times x1 of n. Okay, so up to this is part of the earlier explanation. Now we are going to look at the, the, the question. Second one is x2 of n produces y2 of n, which means y2 of n minus 2 times y2 of n minus 1 is equal to 4 times x2 of n. Okay. Now, supposing I create a new input, I'm remember I'm checking for LTI, x of n equal to a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n. And this produces y of n. I want to check if this is equal to a times y1 of n plus b times y2 of n. If this is satisfied, this question mark, if this is equal, then the system will be LTI. Okay, so let us check. So, if this is the input output relationship, I know that y of n 
minus 2 times y of n minus 1 must be equal to 4 times x of n. Okay, plug in the expression for uh, x of n. This will be 4 times uh, or let us do it this way a times 4 x 1 of n 4 x 1 of n plus b times 4 x 2 of n x 2 of n. Okay. And we know that input output relationships are given by this expression. So, basically we can look at these two substitute from here. So, this will be equal to a times 4 x 1 I am going to substitute it as y 1 of n minus 2 y 1 of n minus 1 and then the next term is going to be b times y 2 of n minus 2 times y 2 of n minus 1. Okay. Just go ahead and uh, go ahead and simplify uh, this will come out to be a times y1 of n plus b times y2 of n minus 2 times a y1 n minus 1 plus b y2 of n minus 1. Okay. So, basically uh, whatever was the input uh, if this is the, the, if this was the expression for uh, you know a one a times y one of n plus b times y two of n that's exactly what we have here. So uh, by verification, this recursive system y of n minus two times y n minus one equal to four x of n is linear and time invariant. Okay, we, we checked for linearity. How do I check for uh, time invariance? If you shift the input by one unit of time, you can see that the uh, outputs will, all, will also shift. So, so, you can verify that this is a system that is LTI. All right. Now, if we have this as our, uh, as our reference, then we have a very, very uh, a powerful result which I would like for you to pay very close attention to. Okay, but, uh, but maybe even before that, uh, something that is something that's very interesting. What did we have as a system? y of n minus 2 times y of n minus 1 is equal to 4 times x of n. This is a uh, uh, LTI system. Now, I would like to implement this, implement this. So, how do I get y of n minus 1? If I give in y of n to a delay, then I will get y of n minus 1. So, the implementation of this is very interesting. How do I do that? I take x of n multiplied by a factor of 4. Remember this is a uh, multiply, multiplication operation you can do on sequences. Every input will be, this is like amplification. Okay. I am going to look at the output. So, there is a disconnect between input and output. If this is y of n and I take this signal and pass it through a delay. Okay, so, notice in which direction the signals are going. It's, this is a signal going towards the outside. That is the output. I tap the output and pass it through a delay. That will produce for me y of n minus 1. Now, this signal I am going to multiply or scale by a factor of 2. And notice that uh, this equation can be written as y of n is equal to 4 times x of n plus 2 times y of n minus 1. That is the output. right? If you take uh, 4 times x of n and 2 times y of n minus 1, that is equal to y of n. So, I am going to introduce a summation node over here. Signals are coming in on both sides. 
x of 4 times x of n coming in from the left, 2 times y of n minus 1 coming in from the bottom. So, this output must be equal to y of n. Okay, so, I, I connect it to the output which is outside. Okay. So, basically what I have shown is that how do I implement this particular uh, equation that is given to us input output relationship where x of n is the input, y of n is the output and the relationship between input and output is given by y of n minus 2 times y of n minus 1 is equal to 4 times x of n. This is the implementation of the uh, signal uh, of the uh, sequence that we are having. Okay. Now, the, the, the general uh, expression, any, so this is the uh, uh, definition, uh, an important class, a very important class of LTI systems, that means a broad family of uh, LTI systems are those which have the following form are those for whom the input output relationship is given as follows, for whom the input output relationship is given by, relationship is given by or given of this form. Okay. Uh, notice the, uh, the form very carefully, summation k equal to 0 through n a k y of n minus k equal to summation m equal to 0 through m b m x of n minus m. Okay. a k's and b k's are constants, a k's and b k's or constants, constants. Okay. Now go back and look at the expression that we have. Uh, tell me what are the values of a k and b k s here? A zero equal to one. A one equal to two. Notice that. Okay. Uh, but it is not uh, plus two. It is minus two. So. Uh, write it down a1 as minus 2, all other a2, all of these are 0. Okay. Now, on the other hand, uh, b0 is equal to 4, b1, b2, all of the others are equal to 0. So, basically what you saw there is exactly the form, this is a more general form. What the statement is, you do not have to check for LTI for these types of systems. Once you have it in this form where a k s and b k s are constants, they should not be uh, x of n, y of n, that, that it's not, should be, not should not be the input or the output, but if they are constants, then this system is guaranteed to be LTI. Okay. Any input output relationship that is described in this fashion is guaranteed to be LTI.